Hello and welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going to be doing a full walk around on a 1955 Bel Air. We do this so you're out of state and you know exactly what you're coming to buy. You'll know all the flaws by the end of this video and definitely check out the test drive video. This is a non power steering car, it also has a 350 under the hood. MapleMotors.com, that's my website. Check it out for additional pictures, close to 100. All my uh, inventory, we deal in classic cars every day. And I have financing and shipping available on that website. Let's get started here. We might as well start in the back. I'll never start in the back. It's always, always the front. Let's see where they put the green carpet in the trunk. We'll be lifting that up here in a second. You got weather stripping. Feels fairly new around the trunk get my shadow out of here extra hubcaps paint bumper lift jack uh-oh <laughs> nice and solid up under here just kind of lifting it up we're gonna look up under the package tray as well just looking common areas for rust that way we don't have any issues here package trays nice and solid good deal went and tuck it back so I'm not shutting it all in the trunk shuts nice and easy let me get my shadow out of the way again. Pull my tag. Let you look around. Back bumper's been replaced. Dual exhaust. It's not flush with the trunk or with the body, but kind of sitting up a little. Same on this side. The hinge could just be out of adjustment on the lock there. All right, so far so good. Let's go down the side of the car. I'm gonna be looking down the lower panels. There's a chip right here. Also a chip right here. Like some bubbles trying to pop through crack in the paint little cracks and chips down through here as you can see the bubble I'm going nice and slow so hopefully y'all can see all this some paint runs in the corner there A little thick on the paint there as well. Coming back down, we're gonna be looking towards the middle. You got a scratch in the paint there. Inside your trim, needs some touching up. A little dimple in the paint there and here. The upper portion. Looking around the back window, it's got a few little light scratches, nothing major. Roof looks pretty good. Still up here in the front. Got some stuff popping up. Scratch there. And you got some rust. This is rust right here. A little bit up under the paint there pitting on your mirror here door handles got some swirls and stuff okay real thick on the paint right here on the fender coming around the front end front bumper has been replaced the grill looks awesome bezels have been replaced
On the edges, on the inner side of the grill, you can see a little bit of rust trying to come out. Paint's thick down in here. Going down this side of the car, got an issue in this area here. Paint's thick again up here where they put too much on it. You can tell it's been on here a little while too. So you got the runs, the paint's put on too thick. Edge of that door has got some bubbles popping through. We're gonna run down the lower portion, go up the middle. Scratching the paint there. A little thick on this back fender. Let's go back down the middle. Same thing on the trim, a little bit of paint. You got some bubbles popping up there. Oxidation on your handles. A little thick by the lot. They did a lot of paint runs on this car. You can see it right here too. Coming back across the top portion. Trim looks good. Got some pitting popping up on the mirror. Roof here has got some rust popping through. Same on these edges here as the other side. All right, guys, we've made it all the way around the car. Hopefully that'll help you out. Letting you know what needs to be done, what's wrong. If you're okay with it, you want to keep driving it just the way it is, that's what they've done. You can tell the paint's been on there a while, so it's exactly what they've done. They've been driving it, having a good time with it the way it is. All right, we're getting ready to check the interior out. Just dive on in. The carpet looks pretty good. I like the interior two-tone seat. It's got some rips in it. Might be able to jump on those soon enough to fix them before you have to replace everything because the seat's in good shape other than the little rips. Back seat, I got all my junk back here and make all these videos for y'all been doing a test drive so i stopped over here during the middle of the test drive if y'all want to see that wait till the last 30 seconds of this video and you can find it that package tray is in good shape headliners in good shape y'all go ahead and place your bets you think the horn works so that you look up at a red light without ducking your head down they wrap the dash on this one normally they're just all paint you can see where they've got a wrap on it the door panel, pretty good shape. Weather stripping looks good around it. Checking the bottom of the door. Checking the jams. Well, there is a little hole on the side of the seat. You guys always remember 55, 56 duck going in i literally took my head off getting in and out of these cars all right gauges under the dash aftermarket radio and we have the face in the office showing forty-eight thousand miles start her up at idle warm we've been doing the test drive uh, about 20 pounds, you rev it up. Almost 50. Engine temperature still good. Blower motor. Works. Windshield wiper. Works. Horn. So you're down here. Horn works.
deal. Let's jump on out. Hood comes down nice and easy and shuts nice. I'm gonna go ahead and check over the hood. Edge of this hood's got some thick paint on it, like just like the rest of the car. All right, guys, let's look up under this one. Close to 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com, so definitely check that out. Guys, definitely go to maplemotors.com if you're interested in my vehicles. I want you to watch both of the videos that I produce for you. Um, test drive, walk around. All you gotta do, type in the year, model, and Maple Motors into the YouTube search bar, and you can look up any of our cars. For example, type in 1955 Bel Air Maple Motors. You can also use hashtag the stock number, which this is hashtag 785, and you'll get two videos that pop up. Literally, when you watch one of them, like this one, go to the end of it. Uh, I'll have a test drive link to a walk around or a walk around link to a test drive. Try to make it as simple as I can. Also have a section here on YouTube that says cars available at Maple Motors. And I update that every week. As soon as we update the website, I update that, take all the sold cars off and keep it going. So definitely check out maplemotors.com if you want to get financed, if you want to ship this car wherever you're at. I just shipped a car to uh, Denver this morning. I ship all over the country, so we can make it happen. I appreciate you watching, and thanks again, guys.